Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to Chris Control Automation. If today is the first time you're watching my channel, kindly subscribe, okay? Just hit the subscribe button, okay? And then click the bell icon. Select all. When you click it, all will come, all will be at the top. There will be some options, all will be at the top, okay? Just select the all so that you turn on the notification to get all my videos, okay? All right, today we are looking at sequential starting circuit, okay? We are going to use two contactors to design manual sequential circuit. Okay, yeah. Before motor one, motor two would operate. Okay, before motor two would operate, motor one should come on first. Okay, if motor one is not running, there is no way motor two would be able to start. Okay, so we are going to look at how the diagram is. Okay, the circuit is so simple. Okay, we wire it and you operate it and see how it is. Okay. So let's get started. All right. So engineers, this is the circuit, okay? Now, let me explain this diagram. We have contactor one here, contactor two, okay? And then these are start push buttons. And this is our main stop, main stop push button, okay? Yeah. These are open contact, this contact. They are all normally open contact on the K1. Okay, so before K2 will start, K1 should start first. There is a manual, manual sequential circuit. Maybe in my next video, okay, I would talk about the automatic. So for now, there is a manual one, manual. Okay, we, are, we have to start it ourselves. Okay, yeah, let me explain it. So now, when this... When the start push button, okay, when the start push button one is pressed, okay, K1 will energize, okay. So when K1 energizes, this contact will close, this contact it will close. So it is serving as a hold on contact for this, so that when this start push button is released, still so current will still flow through to, to get the K1 still energized, okay. So now this contact will also close, but it is also a, an, an open contact on the K1. So when the K1 energizes, this contact will close. This contact will close. So now when this contact is closed, okay? When it closes, now it has completed this line. Okay, now we have a closed line here. So it means that now K2 can be started. So when you press the start push button 2, okay, then K2 will also energize. Okay, there's a hold on for the K2. So that when our, our hand is off, our hand is removed, so the K2 will still, uh, uh, remain energized through this. Okay, so that is it. It's so simple. Okay, and then this is our main stop. So when you press the stop push button, okay, the K1 will energize. When it energizes, this side will open. When this side opens, the circuit will be dead. The K2 will de energize. Okay, so this is our main stop. Okay, before the K2 will energize, the K1 would have to come on. So when the K1 is off, this side is open. So in that case, when you press the when you press on the start button two, there is no way K two energize unless this one is start. Uh, this, this one is energized first. So this is a simple manual sequential circuit using two contactors. So where do we apply sequential circuit? Then maybe in our conveyor systems, okay? In our conveyors in our industries, conveyor before conveyor two would will run, conveyor one should run first. Maybe you con conveyor one is bringing a product, a particular product, okay? And then conveyor two will take that product and convey it to different points. So before contactor two, okay, or motor two will operate, contactor one should be operating to bring the product, okay? Before contactor two will also take the product and continue. But if contactor two, one, if contactor one is not running, there is no way, or if motor one, motor one is not running, there is no way motor two will, will run. Okay, so that is that, that is where we apply sequential circuit. Sequential circuit is very is very interesting. It has applications in so many industries. So now we are going to wire it and see how the operation is going to be. Okay, thank you very much. So now we have our contactors. We have contactor one, then contactor two. Okay, so let's start the wiring. These are push buttons. Okay, so this will be. Uh, the main stop push button 
then this will be a push button one for this side okay and then this one will be for this side so let's begin the wiring so from our breaker So this is the line one, okay? So from line one, so we'll come to stop, stop the close session. This is the close session. One, this is the one. Okay, so we we'll put it here. So this is the one. We we'll tighten it. This is it okay? This, this is quantum tab on the one and two, All right? So now let's turn on the breaker. So this is our main breaker, turn it on, okay? So now this is the complete circuit, okay? As I explained earlier, yeah. So now this side, this side, okay? This side is the is the Contact one side, okay. This side, yeah. This side. So when we press, and then this is contact the two side, okay. So when I try to press the stop button two, okay, to energize the contact two, there's no way it will energize. Let me try and see. You see, it is not energizing. Yeah, it is because of this side. Okay, this side is open. So before the contact two would come on, this side should close. So to close by energizing the contactor one. Okay, so let me start the contactor one. Let's see the contactor one. You see it? It is energized. Yeah, it is gone inside. So now this side is closed. This side is closed. Okay. Yeah. So when I press on this side, okay, because this side is closed, when I press on this, the Q2 will energize. Let's try and see. You see now it is energized. Now the Q2 is energized. When I press the main stop to go, the two of them will go off. So let's see. You see that they've gone off. Yeah. So when I press the K2, there's no way to energize unless K1 starts first. Okay. To complete this side. Now when I press the K2, it will energize. It will energize. You see that. So this is a simple manual sequential control circuit. Okay. In my other video, I'll do a part two of of this. I would that one will be will be an automatic okay so when the motor two, motor one starts okay when motor one starts okay and then motor two also starts yeah for some time okay 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 so please kindly subscribe okay kindly subscribe put down your comment like the video and share for me okay see you in my next tutorials thank you